flat. So I mean, any time you put your foot down, as soon as you press it, instant power. going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to go for a nighttime pov drive in my bmw m140i so you guys seem to enjoy the m3 night drive so i thought yeah let's jump in the m140 for anyone confused i have said it already i do run a car channel i own actually a number of cars and this is one car that i'm actually having uh, quite a bit of work done to pretty soon so yeah we're parked up at big tesco's let's jump out do a walk around and we'll head out and do this pov thing slow me down like speed hump no. keep up when i speed up no. see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life right so t-shirt settings is what it is lads as you can see m140i i think she looks pretty lit some of you may not be a fan of you know what's on my neck boy some of you may not be a fan of the wheels i absolutely love them finished in gold they're the 763m style they're not staggered on the m4s they're usually 19s up front 20 inch in the rear these are just 90s all around. Firstly, I bought the car from a company called North Flute Auto House. Massive shout out to them guys. They detailed the car, ceramic coated it, and also give me a warranty with the car. So that is a massive selling point with North Loop is they offer warranty with modified cars. Most cars you buy, they don't want to touch anything to do with modifications, whether your car's finance, lease, whatever it is. Obviously not lease, but yeah, if your car's modified, Definitely check these guys out. They've got a lot of cars in stock and I probably will be doing a bit of work with these at some point. So for anyone that's unfamiliar, it's a hot hatch, five door, rear wheel drive, three liter, single turbocharged engine, seriously fast car, 340 horsepower. You get the eight speed ZF gearbox. There's no sort of like dual clutch transmissions, but you can see like from factory there, a pretty nice car, man. Obviously I've upgraded the wheel. Seats are nice, nice carbon fiber, interior is clean. I have done a few modifications to this car, of course. As mentioned, we will be going a thousand brake very soon. What's your thoughts on the car, guys? It just means the car not looking pretty lit. I don't know, the wheel's looking a bit buttery from it. First thing we did to this car is we sent it to a company called Auto ID, where we had a HRE bonnet installed. So this is like a, a replica of like an M2 CS. We also had the HRE mirrors. So these are like M3, M4 style mirrors. We also had a Zero body kit installed. So we had the Zero front splitter. We had Zero side skirts. And then we also had the Zero diffuser. The car did come with the Motec package. So it had the Remus exhaust. It had lowering springs and it also spaced on the original wheels. I think interior wise as well, we had a load of carbon fiber installed. So you can see the surrounding of the gear lever. All of this was gloss black before. We also got the paddles as well in carbon fiber. So as soon as the car came back from Auto ID, we sent it to the Auto Works. Harry, some of you would have seen the main video on Living Life Fast. But uh, yeah, I purchased these wheels. Uh, they're replicas from the M4CS. I bought it from a company called CM Wheels. They're pretty light. They're not much heavier than the stock ones. Had them installed by Harry at the Auto Works. They're like a car customization shop. We also had the calipers repainted in red and I had the M badges put on, finished in black. As you can see here, we also had these M badges done in black. It is a shadow edition as well. So it's got like a black theme, like all the black seals, black headlights and tinted rear lights as well. Harry also installed this M Performance steering wheel. So this actually lights up. You'll see that obviously when we go for the PLV job. Harry did install the paddles as well. Also, you may not notice, but it is running like a tint on the front. It was already tinted on the rear, but we now had it match the front. You will notice that there's a bit more light in the front of the car because you've obviously got the windscreen. So rear will always look a little bit darker. So yeah, I thought I'd do a quick little walk around. We'll jump out in the car now go for this little pov drive right so let's do this people try to get a decent setup on the gopro but can't really do much about low light man oh shit ghost so i've got the windows down right now because the tints it makes it even darker in here but i'm gonna have to get a mark so yeah let's go sport plus we'll go manual we want to use the paddles, lads. So yeah, the M3 we was in the other day, that one's got a dual clutch transmission. So the gear shifts are like a little bit more aggressive, a bit sharper. I really do like this car. You know that I like it a lot, man. Definitely one of the best sounds and engines BMW have made. Throws you out the bend. Obviously we've got Michelin Pilot Sport tires on now, the four S's. We had the original Pilot Sports. I can definitely feel the fact we've got a little bit more traction. What's that, a C63? No way. No, go green. 
May I have a race here, lads? Oh, maybe not. Window down. Wow, you know what? Because I've had new wheels. Oh, that wasn't nice. Did you hear that crash? That's because of the wheels. We've got a low profile tire. I think with a bigger wheel and the four S's, I've definitely got a lot more traction. The car would have spun up a bit more there. So obviously, because we've got eight gears, every time you tap the throttle there's just plenty of torque we're in manual now which probably isn't the best way to drive this but if you go it's auto look straight away boom power it's a quick car obviously because it's dark as well cars feel faster at night on top of that you've got colder air so you do usually run a little bit more horsepower but it's like frame rate right i'm missing frames because it's dark my eyes don't see as much so everything's a bit more and uh, i'm probably saying the opposite but now like on normal streets it feels way quicker night time no cars around guys you know i know exactly right yeah look flat so i mean anytime you put your foot down as soon as you press it instant power steering wheel's a nice size oh listen to that boy she sounds lit see so yeah, for anyone that don't know about these cars you can literally run these around 700 horsepower you can put a big turbo on them and run double the power no joke proven many times in fact you can run more than double the power you don't probably can't see nothing <laughs> i mean i can barely see anything myself manual mode for anyone confused you got the M in front of the 140 it doesn't mean it's an M car would you even call it an M light is the question because apart from the engine there's nothing on this car that is dedicated to performance from what I've been checking up and the people I've been speaking with the suspension is what you'll get on like a 118D like no joke there's no difference whether we're talking about maybe the springs or the dampers I'm not too sure specifically but it's a 118D bro a bit of damp there and it's just completely fine now slap the throttle boom gone <laughs> wow now oh, man it's quick see as you get up to speed you just notice there's a little bit of wandering the tires definitely holding on a lot better now when you left the front it almost feels like it goes into like neutral or something So recommended modifications for this car. Wow, we've got loads more traction. Tires are awesome. Also doesn't feel as much shakiness. Yeah, I mean, underneath you can still feel like the car wobbling, but the tires are just like stuck in the ground. Recommended modifications is obviously obviously limited slip diff we do have an awesome suspension pack going on this car soon suspension with diff another mod is poly bush in the car that's apparently a massive modification on these cars underside bracing strut brace m4 lower control arms visibility is um not great man like there is a a little bit of a blind spot some cars it's a little bit difficult to get the right driving position like front air feels nice flat in the throttle we're not in manual mode now but let's see how hard it hangs on yeah man she's hanging on nicely now
obviously another reason I bought this car was to daily drive it. I wanted something that was slightly comfortable, something that was fuel efficient, and this car can get very good MPG if you want to cruise it. You know, daily driving a flipping Hellcat, 6.2 liter, even the M5 before that. Uh, all these cars are pretty juicy. It's not that I'm complaining, but it's like sometimes it just feels like you're just throwing money in the bin. Do you know what I mean? Look, even on the motorway, flat on the throttle, ready to go. Yeah, always ready. 20 grand motors. It's a lot of car for your money. Oh, I felt the front slip then. Like it just almost stumbled on itself. Definitely not my 720. <laughs> 720, you can just go full speed into every corner you ever see. MR40i POV video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. What do you want to see next? You want to see more POV night drives? I don't know. Do you want me to go anywhere specifically? I don't know. Try get creative in the comment section. So yeah, I've got a bit of a plan moving forward with this channel. Definitely want to prioritize doing these reaction videos, but you know, some POV drives. This is quick, efficient content for me. I can shoot these at night. I'm not rushing around for daylight and traffic. And then also the training stuff, because I'm training three days a week anyway. Naturally, I can just film it. And then also, I'm thinking about doing some boxing. Well, I'm already doing a bit of boxing with my dad, so I'm thinking, do you guys want to start seeing a bit of boxing content as well? And as I say, get creative in the comment section. If you've got any cool ideas, what you'd like me to do, just write them down, man. So yeah, till next time. Can't slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See a girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules disappear.